You talked about betting yeah. earlier. Have you ever been offered like a, a bribe? Is max, match fixing a big thing? Yeah, years ago, someone said to me, oh, I need to meet you. And he's the sort of guy you don't want to get on the wrong side of. And I was because like, you were a people pleaser, you said yes. I went, yeah, of course. And he was a friend, you know. I, yeah. I, I've, I've, you know, over the years you meet people and, you know, um, obviously like where my dad has been, I've kind of got, everywhere I go, oh, I spent five years with your dad. And he's like, lunatic, basically. <laughs> I'm like, oh, how you doing? Yeah, my dad spoke about it. He said, you're a really lovely guy. He said, anytime you're here, anytime you're here, I'll do that for you, don't worry. And I'm like, okay. So I've got, I've got uncles everywhere. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so like one guy phoned me, he said, Nick, Nick want to have a meet with you over the forest. And I thought, oh shit, what have I done now? And then we went for a little walk and he went, you know, does he ever... I went, no, nah, mate, I said, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I said, I couldn't do it. I said, my career would be over. I said, I just, I, and, and plus, I just, it's not in me. I said, I don't, I don't play snooker for money. I'm not interested in it. I just, I just feel so dirty. And he went, no, nah, it's fine, that's fine. I thought, at least I haven't upset him or like done something I should have done. So yeah, it was just that. And that was a long, long time ago. I'm going back now, maybe 25 years now. So, uh, Has yeah. Snooker got more clean since then? Was that yeah. common? Or? Uh, no, I don't think it was common at the time. I don't think, um, you know, I don't think Snooker, well, you had the Franciscos, Sylvina. I think Peter, wasn't it? Peter Francisco, he got done for match fixing. I think um, that's the only one I can really remember. Um, yeah, that one, and then and then I think a lot over the last ten years, where a lot of the players they struggle to make ends meet. Basically, a lot of the players, so it's it's tough for them on tour, you know. And sometimes like they 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 have to do things just to kind of survive, you know. Some people will kind of go to China and buy a load of cheap T-shirts and bring them back and make their money just to pay for their trip. Some people get loads of cigarettes and stuff it in their queue case and get home and go here, this, that's it pays for their trip. It allows them to play snooker because if you don't win tournaments, you know, you, d you don't really get pay paid, basically. So um, it's, it's tough for a lot of them. And I think there was a, a time where a lot of the players um, were taking bungs or fixing matches. And then I think after the Stephen Lee thing, I think they kind of put out a strong message that, you know, anyone that does mess about and gets caught, your, basically your career is over. And I think now snooker is a much cleaner sport for it. And um, yeah, so I think, yeah, it's sort of, you know, but I never like to criticise someone because I don't think anyone, if someone's driven to, to lose a match to make money, there's a reason why that you know if they were comfortable and they didn't have money problems or whatever they wouldn't even think about doing that because you know most new players love the game and they want to win but unless you know someone's circumstances and what their predicament is and i do you know i know a lot of these snooker players it's like that they're, they're struggling financially you know it's not easy and you know so i never i never i never I never feel like you know that they've done something wrong yeah don't judge don't 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 judge unless you've walked walked in that yeah. guy's shoes, you know. And, and I'm around it, so I know what they're going on. And I feel a bit sorry for a lot of the players, but it is what it is. And yeah. you know, they sign up to play, and they you know they know, they know what they're 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 in for, you know. So, yeah. but yeah, now nah, it's a lot cleaner now than I, than it was because of the Stephen Lee 12 year ban. I think that kind of like scared everyone a little bit. Mm. If you enjoyed this, if you want more, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell and remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.